guys, Lene Monet here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, so today I want to have a little fun. I'm going to make some Captain Crunch waffles. I ain't never made it before. Technically, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I do know how to cook. So if you're interested, stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video. All right, well, you know, I already washed my hands, so let's get straight to it. All right, y'all, so what you're going to need is your Ancient Mama buttermilk pancake mix you're going to need some heavy cream you're going to need some eggs vanilla extract some cinnamon sea salt some pam milk and some captain crunch all right i'll get ready because i'm excited now, i haven't seen this on um where am i at youtube <laughs> not where am i at ah, i haven't seen this on youtube so i really don't know if somebody has done this before however i didn't see it so Baby, we doing this thing together. I'm just using the original. Well, all you got to do is add water. Now, y'all know I ain't just going to add no water. Y'all knew that. I ain't going to use no measurements either. They do have the measurements on the box, though. So, don't beat me up. Do not chew me out, please. I'm going to add heavy, heavy cream to this to just give it a richer flavor. I like that. So, you want to add a little bit of heavy cream. Some milk. Just a little bit of water to see where our consistency is at. Let's go ahead and start stirring this around. See if I need to add anything additional. Do you need anything additional? Okay. Definitely going to need a little more liquid. But let me go ahead and add some vanilla extract. About a capsule full of that. Some cinnamon. Y'all, don't knock it till you try it. A little bit of sea salt. Let me tell you, when you add salt to sweet things, it bring that flavor out. Just trust your girl because she knows something, okay? Add some more water. To this, I'm also going to add some sugar. I forgot that part. I'm sorry. I should have said that in the beginning. My bad. Boom. And this is the consistency that I like. You see when I'm stirring, you can still see the bottom. It's not too thin or it's not too thick. It's like the perfect consistency. That's why you just add a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. That's it, okay? Boom, done. Go ahead and pull out your waffle making. You will need a waffle maker to make waffles now. I hope y'all know that because I didn't put that in the beginning, but I just thought people should know. You will need a waffle maker, okay? So get you some Pam. Just hit it with a bam and then a boom. And straight like that, okay? Straight like that, straight like that. And you're going to pull your waffle right in the center because you want it to distribute evenly. That's the secret, baby. Right there in the middle. I won't tell. Hello. Your secrets. Ooh, that might overflow. It definitely is. Boom. Press that thing down like that. Ooh. And just wait. Just wait for it. That's all you got to do is wait. All right, so you can see our waffle is done. I have it sitting on a cooling rack because I want that to cool down while we go ahead and work on our custard, okay? The thing that's going to make it Captain Crunch, okay? That's what you need. So I've already crushed up my Captain Crunch right here. So I'm going to use about two eggs. Oh, y'all probably like, why it's only one? Because I'm only one person, y'all. So it's just for me. But double the recipe as needed based on the people you feed i'm gonna use some more heavy whipping cream and we're just gonna give that a good old whisking like this i have cut my waffles in half just to make it easier for me to maneuver you ain't got to do that if you don't want to don't worry about it and like i said look we experiment because to be honest i don't know oh wait i need to tell y'all this so I'm not going to really necessarily submerge it. I'm going to do like a light coat on this. I'm going to do a light coat, boom, put it in here, cover it. Because I don't want this to get soggy. You know what I'm saying? It's not the type of bread that I would use for French toast. I just want the crispy outside. So it's going to be quick. So boom, this is what I'm going to do. Straight like that. I'm going to do straight like that. Make sure everything gets coated though. And then I'm going to dump it in here and cover it up like this. It's going to get a little messy, but just make sure you press it in. Don't worry about the mess. Just press it all in there. Make sure it's fully covered. Let's see. Because I'm really talking to y'all like I did this before. Hold on. Because I need to pay attention. Give me a second, girl. Because I was getting carried away. 
I forgot. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We still want our little windows where it look like waffles. Okay. All right. Boom. Bam. Is it working? Let me find out. This thing don't work. I done did something. Let me find out. I done did something. All right, boom. Don't shake it too much. Sit it over there. Let it bind together, okay? Let it do its thing. I'm gonna run through the rest of these. I'll be back. Okay, we moving right along. Moving right along. I'm gonna preheat this. Let's do about, hold on. Let's check on it in about three minutes. Three minutes at, where I wanna put this at? 350. Three minutes at 350. Hold on one second. Place these things up in here. Because I want it to be crunchy, okay? We said Captain Crunch. We're not going to play with them people. So we're going to go ahead and make it crunchy and see if we came up with something. What it's talking about? All right. Let's check on it in three minutes. All right. So let me tell y'all what I did. So I, I put it up on 370. And then I added an additional two minutes to see if it got crispy because it wasn't as crispy as I wanted it. So let's see what happened. Ooh, baby, it's a little brown. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it got a little brown color on it. Let's flip this bad boy over so the other side can get crispy as well. We want two crispy sides, not one crispy side. Put it back in there for three minutes on 370. And then that's it. That's the end of it. Show y'all what they look like. They are very crispy. I want y'all to know. You hear that sizzling? Sizzle. Yes, that's what you want. I'm about to go ahead and finish up the other ones. You know we're going to plate this thing, baby. And then we out here. It's time to taste it. All right, guys. So here we have it. Our Captain Crunch waffles, baby. Oh, my God. All I did was go ahead and top it with some cool whip and some strawberries and it's just time to get straight to it okay can't nobody do it like me nope yum Ooh, that was quite a show really had me going but it's over now i am so excited i really don't know what to do myself outside of just bowing Amen and amen. Let me go ahead and get rid of well, I don't really have to. I got a little thing back here so it can prop up. But get into the get into the look, baby. It's a it's giving fast to Nisa. Giving fast to Nisa. I even I try to say something, I don't know how to say it. That just made me so mad. Look, I'm ready. I don't got the time. I don't got the time. I didn't put no syrup on it because I feel like it's probably sweet enough. I mean, I don't know. Guess what? It's only one way to find out, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. And we got to bite right into this thing. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, my God. Why am I so happy? I couldn't help but smile. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 every spot crunchy too on the outside soft on the inside that kind of crunch flavor come through heavy mm. let me do a review on my own food delicate soft bite y'all know y'all hear that crunch I don't know what it would taste like with a strawberry, but we're going to find out today. We're going to find out right now. Do the little thing I had to use to prop it up. Don't mind that. Well, let me see. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Ref 
refresher. But this right here is the key speaker of the show. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of syrup, just a little bit. It don't need it though. I'm gonna pour a little bit right there because it really don't need it. But I wanna get the full effect, you know? Y'all know me, y'all know I gotta get the full effect. I can't help it. Okay, right there, right there. Just gonna take a bite, hold up. I don't hate it with the syrup. I do enjoy it more without it, though. I'm not going to lie. All you need is something bacon, egg, home fries on the side. Mm. Don't say I ain't never show you nothing, okay? I don't know what people are doing that. I don't. But doggone it, they should be. It's so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I like the fact that you guys was kind of able to come in the kitchen with me and watch me create something for the first time. So, yeah, just like it was my first time, it could be your first time, too, okay? Don't be scared to get in there. Yeah, yeah, okay? Don't be scared. Just go with the flow. Just feel the mood, okay? It's a vibe. That's it. All right, well, with that being said, guys, I'm going to head out. Make sure you catch me on Wizio for any advice. I do want to tell you guys that love yourself. Learn yourself and love yourself because ain't nobody else like you. It's given very much often imitated but never duplicated, baby. It's only one you. So you got to stay true to you. As long as you continue to do the work in life to be a better person, you can't go wrong. Learn from your mistakes and be honest with yourself, baby. Because if you can't be honest with you, well, how you gonna expect anybody else to, okay? Well, that's my tea and I'm sipping to it, baby. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Until next time, guys, peace.